Unfortunately for us bikers, it's a fact of life that motorcycles are relatively easy to steal. And to put some context into that, a report recently issued by the Motorcycle Action Group shows that in 2021, 20 of every 1,000 registered motorcycles in the UK were stolen. If you compare that to cars, they come out at just 1.9 per thousand. Locking your bike with just one security device can actually reduce that risk by two thirds, but I still see quite a few bikes out there parked up when I'm traveling around with no security on them whatsoever. Now, of course, there are a myriad of different security options out there in the market from uh, disc locks to D locks to uh, shackles to chains and even extra security for your garage. But I'm not gonna delve into those in this video because in this video, I'm specifically looking at the Light Lock X1 Moto. In theory, if you can make your bike harder to steal or take longer to steal, the thief is more than likely to move on to the next bike which has less protection. However, given the current favorite method of attack for thieves is the angle grinder, I don't think that's gonna to apply to anything other than an opportunist. That's why the new Lightlock X1 Moto might be a big help towards combating that theft because it is coated with baronium. What is baronium, I hear you ask? Well, it's a composite material that x -Lite used and it's designed to be grinder attack resistant. And to make sure that this doesn't damage your wheels or your paint, there is a further coating on the outside using plant-based eco-friendly rubber. It's relatively light as well at 1,729 grams and it has a sold secure diamond security rating. Lightlock claimed that this offers at least double the protection of most heavy duty chains, but it's also much easier to carry and transport. It's also, they claim, five times more resistant to grinder attacks than standard D-locks. But as they say, the proof is in the pudding, so I'm gonna take it outside and see how it holds up to an attack from my grinder, and that's this, not an app on my phone. Right, so hopefully this won't take too long because it is absolutely freezing out here. But I'll just give you an idea of what I'm using. So I've got a Bosch 800 watt grinder here plugged into a 110 volt transformer. And I'm using a one millimeter thick steel slitting disc, which normally makes easy work of most mild steel. Now, I would say it's very rare that the little scropes that are stealing these bikes are master lock pickers. So I'm not gonna bother trying to attack that. I think the chances of the lock being picked is very slim. Uh, there's lots of other ways to attack it, but because I'm really concentrating on the grinder resistance of this one, that's what I'm gonna do. Now I've attached it to my workmate here because I don't want to risk damaging my bike with the, the grinder or anything. And also there's a risk that if I can't get it off, uh, it's stuck on the bike. So, um, cause I am going to attack this and I'm also going to attack that shank as well because I see a lot of people cutting into this bit, uh, but this may well be the easier part to get to. So um, let's give it a go. Safety first and all that. Oh, they're cold. Okay, let's start the clock. Okay, so as you can see, I've got to about halfway, just over halfway through the bar, but there is a problem. The slitting disc has worn down. That's what it started with. 
that's where we've got to in just half of the diameter of that bar, uh, which shows I think that that baronium coating is definitely making this much more grinder resistant. Yeah, it's got to be a deterrent, but I'm going to get a new one on of these and then we'll carry on. I'll keep the cock game from where I left off. So we'll get a total time to get through that. And then maybe I'll have a go at attacking the shackle as well, just to see if that's got the same kind of protection. So there you go, that is very, very nearly through. There's just a few millimeters left, but that's the second cutting disc that's been trashed. Uh, and I'm gonna have to put a third one on to get through this. So um, definitely the baronium is making a big, big difference. I'll just change the angle of this slightly. And we're through, but the shackle in here means that I can't actually twist that. So I'm going to have to cut through another section to actually get that off because there's no way I can leave uh, that off. So maybe it'd be time to attack this uh, shackle. So there you go, you can see how long it took. It, it, three discs in the end I trashed, one of which though was down to bad technique um, where I kind of twisted it in the in the, the slot. But you can see how difficult that was. And um, yeah, because of the square shank, I can't physically twist that to try to get it off. So you would have to cut through two parts of this. I did have a go at the shank here as well. But as you can see, I didn't even get halfway through that 
before another disc gave up on me. So I do think this test, as scientific as it can be for me at home here, proves that this baronium coating on here does make this very difficult to attack with a grinder. As I say, I went through three discs, one of which was bad technique, I'll admit, um, but I think the average thief is probably gonna give up on that. Um, so yeah, good job, Lightlock. There is obviously a wide range of D-locks available in the market, but I think the X1's grinder resistance, lightweight and portability surely make it one to consider. And at $149.99, I think it gives you a little bit of peace of mind without breaking the bank either. Now, I'm not really in a position to go and spend £150 on a lock and then just trash it. So I do want to thank Lightlock for sending this through for me to review and to test. This isn't a paid review, however. I am trying to honestly evaluate this product to make sure that it stands up to what the uh, manufacturers suggest, but also that it's going to be a good investment for you out there. I do pride my reviews on being open, honest, and constructive. Nothing is ever reviewed on this channel without being tried and tested, and I'm not some influencer that will just take this out of the box and uh, regurgitate the brand's message to you out there. I am and always have made videos to try to help people make more enlightened decisions when it comes to buying products and I hope that's appreciated. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to go away and check out this product and the rest of the Lightlock range. If you've got any questions don't forget to leave those in the comment section down below and so until next time thanks for watching, take care, Ride safe, lock your bike, and I'll see you soon. Bye.